In the past, Huawei used to make lots of exciting mid-range tablets that offered fantastic value. But due to the trade war between the US and China, the Google Play Store is missing from new devices now. That did not stop them from releasing the Huawei MatePad T10s, which cost just $200. Can it compete with similar price alternatives? I'm Anjay from MyNextTablet.com and that's what you will learn in this Huawei MatePad T10s review. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm reviewing almost all tablets that get released, all from Huawei here, Lenovo, Apple, Microsoft, Samsung and so on. The design of the Huawei MatePad T10s is fantastic. It features a mostly metal body with a small plastic part for the antennas. I like the color, which they call Deep Sea Blue. Even though it's not that thin with 7.85mm, it's more premium feeling than Amazon's tablets and almost on the level of an iPad. It weighs 450 grams. On its sides, the T10S has a USB-C 2.0 port, a standard headphone jack and a microSD card slot. I like that the webcam is located in the middle when holding it in landscape view. More and more brands do this, which is great for video chats. But the resolution is quite low, with just 2 megapixels, and the 5 megapixel main camera does not offer much more detail. So don't expect to take great selfies or so. It's usable, of course, but that's it. The MatePad T10s has a 10.1 inch IPS display with a full HD resolution of 1920 by 1200 pixels. It's a good screen. Sure, it's much darker than the Apple iPad 8, but viewing angles are wide and contrast is good. The screen is laminated, which is great. Overall, it's on a similar level as other budget tablets in this price range. One time I thought that the screen looks a bit blurry, the resolution seemed lower. But that's because by default, Huawei adjusts the resolution based on what you're doing. So if you always want to use it with the highest quality, you should turn off the smart resolution in the settings. Sadly, the tablet does not support the necessary DRM standards to play back Netflix with HD resolution. You are stuck in standard definition. Besides the Netflix issue, the MatePad T10s has lots of potentials to be a great media tablet because the speakers are fantastic. We get a speaker on each of the shorter sides. And even though the similar price Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 has 4 speakers, the sound of the MatePad sounds much better. It's more pleasing to listen to and the bass is stronger. For this price, the speakers are really good. The Huawei MatePad T10s is powered by a high silicon Kirin 710 octa-core processor. You can get it with 2 or 3 GB of RAM and with 32 or 64 GB internal storage. I have the 2 GB and 32 GB version. Considering its price, benchmarks results are good. In most tests, including Geekbench 5, 4 and 3D Mark, the T10s sits just a couple of points below the Galaxy Tab A7, which is just a tiny bit pricier. In PUBG Mobile, you can set the graphics to HD, which is a bit higher than on the Samsung A7. But with HD settings, it stutters a bit. So you've got to reduce the graphics if you want to play it smoothly. I noticed something similar with Asphalt 9. It looks okay and is smooth most of the time, but sometimes you can see some stutters. Fortnite is not supported and other games like World of Tanks perform great. That's the case with simpler games too, of course. I surfed the web a lot using the Firefox browser and the performance is good. But due to the 2GB of RAM, I noticed that apps must reload more often than with high-end tablets when switching between them a lot. So if you're into multitasking, you should at least get the 3GB RAM version. The MatePad T10 is running Android 10 and the Emotion UI in version 10. The own interface from Huawei customizes Android quite heavily. Everything looks a little bit different, but on a positive note, you can customize it yourself a lot too. Pre-installed are lots of shortcuts to apps from newspapers, hotel platforms, airlines and some social ones like TikTok. Basically, these are ads, but you can remove them easily. Besides these customizations, it's standard Android, with one big exception. Because of the trade war between the US and China, the Google Play Store, Google Services 
and all of their apps like Gmail, Chrome, YouTube, Hangouts and so on are missing. That's a huge disappointment because usually you expect those Google apps when buying an Android tablet. Now the Play Store is missing on Amazon's tablets too and that's not a huge issue because with those you can install it easily yourself. But on the MatePad T10s and other current Huawei tablets it's not that easy. Sometimes there are ways to do it but with most you will have to install a weird Chinese app and put in your Google password. I'm not comfortable doing that. There are lots of other ways to install apps of course. You can find many inside the Huawei app gallery and among those is Microsoft Office, Asphalt 9 and so on. But many including Netflix are missing. Another way is through the app Petal Search which is pre-installed onto the home screen. That app searches for APKs on the internet and lets you install them easily. Usually that works very well. Another way is through the Amazon App Store which you can download from Amazon directly. With these methods you can install most apps but sometimes it can happen that an app or game does not work if it needs Google services. And you can't install the Google Play Store that way. Some apps like Chrome work but because of those missing services you can't log into your Google account. You can watch YouTube either by using the browser or with third party apps like YouTube Vanced which seems to be an almost exact copy of YouTube. I did read reports that Google might delete your account if you use it but that's just from message boards on the web and I don't know if it ever happened. As you can see there are ways to get around the Google Play Store but it's a bit of a hassle. And if you're not into tech or are planning to gift it to someone who's not into tech they will probably be disappointed by the software. When streaming an HD video on YouTube Vanced at maximum brightness the battery lasts 5.25 hours. Usually I use the standard YouTube app but since it does not run on here I had to use YouTube Vanced so I'm not sure if that impacts battery life differently. So should you get the Huawei MatePad T10s? Its hardware is pretty good, the build quality and especially the speakers are fantastic for this price and its 10 inch screen and performance are what you would expect from an Android tablet in this price range. But because of the missing Google Play Store and since you can't install it easily I can't recommend it for most. It just makes no sense to get an Android tablet without Google stuff as long as there's lots of competition. In the past and with those Google services I would have thought the T10s is a great value. It's a successor to the Huawei MatePad T5 which I liked a lot a couple of years ago. And maybe if you don't like Google anyways then you might be happy with it. But I think most should stay away and get a competitor instead. Now let's get to possible alternatives. For many I think the best alternative is the Samsung Galaxy Tab A7. It's a very similar tablet with a 10.4 inch Full HD screen, a very similar performance and a very similar price. Out of the box it's running Android 10 including the Google Play Store, YouTube, Chrome and Gmail. If you want to save some money you can check out the Amazon Fire HD 10. Here you've got to install the Google Play Store yourself but the screen and performance are very similar again. Usually you should be able to save around $50 but you will have to live with a plastic body. The Huawei MatePad 10.4 is a better alternative if you're a huge fan of Huawei and want a better performance and a pen option. Overall it's a great tablet but like with the T10s it's lacking Google services. You will have to pay around $100 more. Alright that's the end of my review of the Huawei MatePad T10s. If you have any questions write them down below. I'm Andre from mynexttablet.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Wow, 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 wow.